Hello everyone, my name is Suman Dua. I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. In this video today, I will be recommending you five health-related courses that you can study this year. So the first reason these courses are on my list are because the occupation outcome for these courses is either on the MLT SSL or the STSO list. So what it means is that you will have the option to apply for the 189, 190 or the 491 points tested visas. The second reason I've got these courses on my list is because the skills assessment process for these occupations is very straightforward. In most cases, work experience will not be required for a skills assessment. So the third reason these courses are on my list is because the occupation outcome for these courses is on most states occupation list. So also there is a possibility that you may get invited at low points. If you work in your nominated occupation on a temporary graduate visa for a minimum of two years, you may also look at employer-sponsored visas. So the first course that I would like to recommend is a bachelor's degree in physiotherapy. The occupation outcome is a physiotherapist and this occupation is on the MLT SSL list. For the admission into this course, you do need 7 each in IELTS or equivalent test. The skills assessing body for this occupation is Australian Physiotherapy Council. If you do an accredited course, you will have the options to look at the 189, 190 or the 491 visas. The second course on my list is Bachelors in Radiation Therapy. The occupation outcome for this course is Radiation Therapist and this occupation is on the MLT SSL list. For the admission into this course, you do need IELTS 7 or equivalent and you will have to do an accredited course. The skills assessing body for this occupation is Australian Society of Medical Imaging and Radiation Therapy. The third course which is on my list is a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory science. The occupation outcome is medical laboratory scientist and this occupation is on the MLT SSL list. For the admission into this course, you do need IELTS 6.5 or equivalent and your course has to be accredited by AIMS, also known as Australian Institute of Medical and Clinical Scientists. The fourth course on my list is Bachelor's Degree in Occupational Therapy and the occupation outcome is Occupational Therapist. So this occupation is also on the MLT SSL list and the course admission requirement is to have a 7 each in IELTS or equivalent test. The skills assessing body for this occupation is OTC, also known as Occupational Therapy Council of Australia. So the fifth course on my list is Bachelors in Dietetics. The occupation outcome for this course is Dietitian and this occupation is on the STSOL. For the admission into this course, you do need 7 each in IELTS or equivalent test and the skills assessing body for this occupation is Dietitian Australia. So even though the occupation outcome is on the STSOL, you will have the option to apply for the 190 or 491 visa once you have completed the accredited degree in Australia. So apart from these courses, especially if you are somebody who cannot score a high English score, then you may want to look at the Bachelors in Community Services as the occupation outcome is a welfare worker or a community worker. The English requirement to get admission in that course is very low. I have made a separate video regarding that course and the permanent residency pathway through the Bachelors in Community Services. I will put the link in the description. And if you are somebody who is looking to enroll into a health related course, please get in touch with us.